up you guys it's valley Vala perfume down back at you with another exciting video so i wanted to get on here and share with you guys a few well not a few one one new fragrance this is a very exciting fragrance house i think that you guys should know about it and especially because i know a lot of you rock with me because i like fresh scents you like fresh scents it's hard to find someone else that really likes fresh scents. i know freshies where you at drop it below what's your favorite fresh scent so this one i am trying is from get right fragrances get right fragrances this is from get right fragrances and their theme is welcome to the clean team look at that look at that i love that logo so fly all right so it says about us get right fragrance was established in 2019 so this is a new brand new brand by a founder ceo bruce hardinette who turned his adversity into a fragrance his motto get right is motivational for recovering in times of despair Though his trials and tribulations, Bruce used his misfortunes as opportunities to create new endeavors. To get right is the strength to overcome challenges and to prepare for greatness. His love for cologne inspired Get Right. The scent clean team was developed by the managing childhood partners, Jason Crawford and Anthony Wilson. Being clean is everything. Our mission is to create a culture that will inspire the lives of others by way of self-care, character, confidence, and leadership. Team fragrance. The Get Right Clean Team Eau de Parfum is a woody citrus musk softened with a jasmine flower aroma. The head notes are jasmine, lavender, bergamot, sandalwood. Heart notes are grapefruit, lemon, rose. And the base notes are violet, amber, and musk. Okay, so it says Get Right Fragrance is an all-season versatile scent. I just dropped a video on versatile scents. If you want to check, you can go check that out if you want to, girl. Okay, created for a man. He, he, he says it's a unisex, though. I think it's unisex scents. But he says it's created for a man who embraces the day or enjoys a night on the town. Don't we all, honey? Don't we all want to be on the town, okay? So it says the principles. The principles of a man are reflection. Some of y'all men need to read this, okay? I'm, I'm going to send this. You know, hey, you. You know who you are. I'm going to send this to you. So the principles of a man are a reflection of his character, his vision, integrity, confidence, and most importantly his style okay being clean is everything the commitment to your goals dreams family and your woman these are core values of leadership that every man should possess i'm looking at you but i'm not saying nothing in addition to brotherhood the unity among fellowship maturity strong ties money respect building brands and entrepreneurs clean team okay love it all right being clean is everything let's get into the shunt little shunt 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 all right, so this is definitely a very, 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 very clean scent. This is like the type of scent when you get out the shower and you're like, I just want people to know that I have great hygiene, that I smell fresh, clean, and that I take my job serious. I feel like this is the type of scent that you wear when you want to smell good, but you don't want people to think that you're like, you know, freaking Rico Suave wearing all these type of strong, sexy scents to work. People are going to be like, um, are you here to pick up chicks? Or are you here to do your job? This is here to do the job. My hand hurts so freaking bad. It's insane. Oh my gosh. I I'm not, I was going to say, I don't know what I did to it. I know exactly what I did to it. I was lifting heavy stuff and I just can't anymore. I'm in the worst pain of my life, my dude. I have to use this hand, my non-dominant hand. Let's do it. Oh, gosh. There we go. Pain. Bang, bang. That was me doing the shame reference from Game of Thrones, if you didn't know. Okay, when you get first into it, yes, 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 yes. Prominent lavender, prominent bergamot. Yes, prominent lavender, prominent bergamot. I really like it's very fresh. It kind of reminds me of if you like a Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. That almost like the marine aquatic type scent. There's like an aquatic element to this fragrance for some reason. Very fresh. The bergamot in there is, it does have a like an awakening a little bit, but it's not very like zesty. This isn't your most zesty form of bergamot. It really, I think it's calmed down by the pairing with the sandalwood that can be kind of like a subdued kind of a woody note. And then also the herbal calming lavender in the top notes. Now, when you get to the heart notes, you're going to have the grapefruit, the lemon, and the rose. I don't get a very tart, zesty grapefruit either, which I really like because those can kind of turn sour sometimes. This is a pared down lemon scent. Think more so Mesa and Margiela lemon 
what was it lemon trees lemon trees that type of lemon scent to where it's not so zesty and so on the nose but just a hint just to keep things up and fresh and clean when you smell citrus fragrance it immediately associates with clean that's what most of us do and that's what this fragrance does for me the rose in there does add this one kind of keeps it from getting too masculine because there are a lot of citrus notes in there citrus can be a little bit masculine the rose kind of lights tips the scale a little bit back to femininity so i do call this being the sex scent even though i think he did make it for the fellas the girls can have fun too all right for the base notes you're gonna have the violet the amber and the musk the most prominent is going to be the violet now this could be like on the edge of powdery but it's not i would definitely say people will say it's a little bit more musky and musky just adds a little bit more freshness if you've ever smelled jlo glow i think that's the kind of musk that we have in this fragrance I really like this fragrance a lot. The longevity is good. The longevity is good. When it starts to dry down, you do get a little bit more of like the depth in there. I kind of feel like when it dries down, I get a little bit more of like the amber and the sandalwood. There's something that smells a little bit like woody when it dries down. Almost hinting on the edge of smoky, dare I say. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still very fresh. Very, very fresh. And that's how people would describe this scent to you. They're just going to say, man, you smell like you just got out of the shower. It's not the type of scent you can overspray. It's just going to leave you smelling very clean and refreshed. How many times can I say it? That's the kind of scent. For me, it lasts about four hours or so, but I also have not oversprayed it. That's one thing that people don't take into account. You got to actually spray it. I, I just have like a little sample, so I've just been spraying it one spurt at a time. But I do feel like this is a type of scent that can build up and be a little bit more robust if you want that to be. I do think that it leaves a trail. Uh, it's not going to be like the type of scent that knocks people out before you get into the room. It's not that kind of scent. This does sit a little bit closer to you, but that cloud around you is going to smell lovely. Floral, citrus, woody, and very fresh and clean. I do like this scent. I think it's fair with the price range. Um, this is a niche brand. This is American made. This is a black owned brand. So it's amazing to support all those causes. And I really think that you should reach out to them. They do have samples available. I think you should go ahead and get yourself a sample. And if you like fresh, clean fragrances, you may want to add this one to your collection. Let me know if you've tried this brand or what are some other amazing, fresh, clean fragrances. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.